Well, hello to my Royal Alloy friends. Um, today I received in the post these uh, Royal Alloy service stand brackets from Tassel Works. Now, lifting your scooter off the ground is a little bit of an issue. Um, get in the right place to put any jack, etc. Particularly with a liquid cooled model because they're very busy underneath. So these have been designed to look at that issue. Now, first thing I would say is they're very high quality. The laser cut from 304 stainless steel. They're a British uh, product and uh, they will work with uh, almost any axle stands, which you'll see when we go into the garage and they're really simple to fit. Give you, giving you that safe place to to lift your bike from. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the notes for the video to show where you can get these from. They're $34.95 for a set and I think that represents really good value for money when you look at the quality of these and they look like they're going to last uh, and you, you'll keep them in your garage and anytime you want to, to lift that bike up you'll be going to these so let's get in the garage and have a look at how they work so here's the scooter and let's just look where we're going to put these um, if we look at the floorboards you see there's the joint line here and uh, same place either side let's have a look under that point so here we are underneath the scooter and uh, you can see the framework here and here you can see a used section of the framework and we just take our fitting here and push it into there and uh, this is what we'll do on the other side as well. So uh, these are my axle stands and um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise it up two notches, one, two. Uh, move it onto the stand there and rock the bike to the side. Lowering it. Lowering it down onto there. And now we'll go around the other side. So with the opposite side, the axle stand set uh, two notches up. I'm just going to rock the bike the opposite way and push that underneath well as you should be able to see that's the scooter on the stand you see the front wheel is off the floor as is the rear wheel now this now allows you to check the free movement of your steering column and just to check that your head bearing is fine allows you to work on your wheels, take your wheels off, tyres etc. Now put your comments in the comments section below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.